So this uh, video is just for the beta testers to show you what's new with this uh, nonlinear editor. Now in the current beta that I'm about to post it is buggy as I'll get out. Just FYI heads up just so you know. Um, I've identified a few of them but a couple other ones I'm trying to figure out. So obviously everyone is familiar with shave and what shave can do. Um, this nonlinear editor kind of pumps that up a little bit. Um, it's not a full-fledged thing like Final Cut. Um, it's pretty much on par with iMovie though. Um, it's getting close. Shave doesn't slow down clips like iMovie does, but we will be supporting transitions and uh, additionally we'll be you'll be able to apply effects to individual edits as well. Um, and that's actually more than iMovie does. iMovie's effects are pretty whack. So anyways, uh, let me just show you what this does. So I'm going to open up a bunch of videos. And these videos were shot for a fashion magazine um, that I'm involved with here in Vietnam. Let me just find the ones that I want. There we go. just going to find the end one. And honestly, that's been a very strange experience being involved with this. So these are the videos I've loaded up. I'm just gonna zoom them out. And if you've missed a few betas, there's actually a ton of new stuff. Uh, the media inspector is new. And this shows you your media here. You can play it. Go through it. And this just shows you all the media that you have. And actually, I'll show you this after we've done it, edit. Um, it's a little bit more impressive. Additionally, we have the audio inspector. And the audio inspector, um, I don't think there's any audio in this. There's very little. But it lets you adjust the volume, you can apply a preset, you can edit the, the e EQ on the audio. That's about the extent of that. That's the audio inspector. So let me edit these together really quick. So I'm just going to come in, copy, close, come to the end here and paste. Copy, close, don't save, paste. And did I mention this is buggy? Because this is pretty buggy. Shave, actually at this point, doing this basic stuff is pretty solid. Much more solid than Shave 1. Which is something I probably shouldn't admit out loud. And just a couple more here. Close that, paste that. Copy this, paste this, don't save. All right, so we got our videos edited together. And uh, if you're not familiar, or you're familiar with Shave, I mean, this was the extent of Shave 1. This is what you could do. And the problem was is if you, if you were pasting stuff together and you made a mistake, but you, it's too late, you kind of screwed. You couldn't really go back and change. So if I came in and decided ah, I need to trim this up, I'd have to actually come into Shave, make my manual points, do my editing here. It's kind of a pain in the butt. However, with this new nonlinear editor, I come over here, click on this, and close that up. I'm not used to working on this small screen. So I click on the film strip and down slides my timeline. This is everything that's going on behind the scenes. Um, again, you've used iMovie, you've probably used Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro. There's nothing new here. Uh, some of the things, way we do things is maybe slightly different. But you can resize your clips, you can move them around, you can delete them, you can duplicate them. Um, and I'm going to show you that right now. 
So this is the part that's kind of a little bit buggy. So you're going to have to bear with me as I kind of stumble through this. So if I want to resize or re-edit these clips here, I come to the start or the end, and you'll see the cursor change. And I can just click, and I can drag. And this is this one bug. For some reason, on the first very first clip, it's hard to do this. And then it gets stuck, so you got to come down here. So if I start at the end here, I can just drag it, and you'll see the blue bars indicating where in the source clip this clip is taking its stuff from and right now I'm adjusting the end and really all I want to do is clip it to there and that's good maybe now I can do this nope super annoying gotta fix that and then what I can do is just come through and I decide this clip is junk this is like a b-roll it's not even a b-roll so what I want to do is delete it. Unfortunately, it's too small for me to just to grab. So I got to zoom in a little bit, click it, and then drag it out of the track, and boom, it has been deleted. Now before, I'd have to make a selection, hit delete or command X, but now I can just drag it off. Now additionally, I can just pick a clip, and zoom, and I can move it around. If I want to duplicate a clip, I can click and drag and hold down the Option key. Drag it to where I want, and it's been duplicated. Let's clean up these edits. Kind of like that, so we're going to leave that right where it is. That's good. Oops. Again, that's pretty good. Yeah, and this one's another junk outtake. This one I'm going to, that's good, and then that's good. So easy, right? You're familiar with iMovie, Adobe Premiere, uh, nothing new under the sun here. Um, but definitely a new way of working with Shave. And now that I'm done here, I can just click this close and I'm back to working in Shave normally. Now, some things that are going to be coming soon. This is the other thing, too, is once you're in this m mode, you can stretch this out, and it's not proportional to the video. But once I go back here, it's back to that. Which doesn't seem like a big deal to you, but it was kind of a pain in the butt <laughs> to make happen. And then, of course, down here is the zoom and the scroll bar. And then if I press play, it automatically tracks here. So now you can see that it's automatically scrolling so that we're always in the center. And that is the famous Min 2. Uh, one of Vietnam's top models. Very famous here. And that's Le Quinn. She's actually very famous too. And so that's that. That is the non-linear editor. Um, some things that are coming, you'll be able to edit the fade in and fade out as well as adjust the volume once the audio stuff is in. Um, you can create volume maps and opacity maps even though, well, fade, fade in and fade out. Uh, transitions between clips and each clip you'll be able to assign its own list of effects um, which will be fairly powerful. So that's it. Uh, 
pretty buggy. I know of some of the bugs, but still love to hear about them when you find them. So feel free to leave feedback. You can leave feedback right up in here. Um, or you can just shoot me an email. This is actually preferred because we track it on the website. And that's that.